Alright, g'day guys, how you going? Uh, today I've been busy putting a whole heap of the mulch uh, pea straw around the plants to help keep them cool. So I'll give you a look at what's been going on and I've also done a fair bit of work um, doing this fence for this other garden area and planted that out as well and mulched that. So I'll take you around and show you what's been, how everything's growing and so we got the the squash is going really good, the straight neck squash. But over here, see all the mulch is around. Oh, this traffic, oh, hopefully that doesn't bother too much. And it is a bit windy, so bear with me. One of the problems with living on the main busy road in town and also in one of the windiest places on earth. So this little volunteer plant here, that come up within the compost that I put on earlier and I'm pretty sure it is uh, African horned cucumber or a jelly melon, horn melon so that's I'm just going to leave that to grow and spread out and do its own sort of thing might put a little bit of a tra trellis up for it now the beans are going a bit better um, got a nice little bean just there so the bush beans, so they're doing really well. I lost a couple with the heat. Um, we've been quite lucky. Um, it's been quite cool the last couple of days, but we've got some more hot weather on the way. So these are the straight neck squash. No, that's not very straight, this one, but <laughs> um, I'm leaving them to go to seed. I have got a couple that. I have been eating as well some of the smaller ones so they're doing well uh, and we've got the oh we'll go this way purse lane's going really well I've actually ripped out a couple of bigger older ones that were there and I'll show you what I've actually done with them um, shortly so I can collect the seed uh, Aztec corn is doing really well that's getting up nice height now. Uh, it's almost about chest height to me. And we've got some sea purslane. This one is a nice ground cover and it's got a salty sort of taste to it. It's nice in salads. Uh, it grows best by cutting, but I am going to try and collect some seed later on um, when it does eventually seed. But that one's a lot harder <laughs> than the normal purse lane. And me peppers are doing really good. Uh, these are the, the candy cane. So they're nice, nice striped peppers. And they're a sweet one. Uh, but this one here, interesting, is... Oh, I'll try and get him in the better light. Uh, he's almost white. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but he has got one big green stripe on the other side. Oh, I hope that's that light's a bit rough. But yeah, so I've got all the mulch down in around here, and sunflowers are just starting to finish up. A couple of little ones still going, and that light's a bit not so good. But I've got to get out of here before it gets too windy. Yeah, this one's just about finished up as well. But I'll collect the seed off them. Uh, one of my main things... Oh, the sun's going to be in the... Hang on, we'll be back. Actually, we'll scoot over this way. Hello, Mocha. You say hello, Mocha. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> All right. So over here, uh, Mocha's been a bit naughty and been digging up. She dug up one of my Turks turban pumpkins so, and she's dug up the others, but these ones never came up, so I'm not too worried about that. But I've got one left, so it's all fenced off, mulched up. Um, I will expand the fence. Hey, Mocha. Um, so that's doing not too bad going well and 
Yes, yeah, so um, my main goal this year is to grow as much seed and collect as much seed as I can for to grow in extra food um, later on. Uh, so that's my main thing. So I've had a few comments that, oh, that's ready to pick. Uh, that's, yeah, because I've left it longer um, so I can get the seed off it. So, but I am eating some of it as well. I am picking it while it's young. But a lot of the stuff I'm, I am letting it go to seed. All right, so this is the swing around, and we've got the fenced area here, and we've got everything um, grown. So I'll take you around. So we've got the lemongrass, that's all finally been. Um, hopefully, this lighting's not too bad, it's a bit rough. Um, yeah, the sun's in an awkward spot. So I've got along the fence here, there is some um, cayenne peppers, yeah, some chili, and then I've got uh, nothing in there yet that's still bare. And I've planted some alyssum, alyssum, and some sage, so hopefully that'll take off. It got hit a bit hard. Uh, this bed here is just rainbow chard and more lemongrass, plenty of lemongrass and they've got two beds here that are just bell peppers these two beds here are just bell peppers and this one here is eggplant that is the Lebanese eggplant so but I'll take you up here as well. I've got, whoops, yeah, it's just, I've just done it rough as, like, uh, even worse than a cocky gate, actually. <laughs> but I'm just making do with what I've got, sort of thing. I've even wired up just with bale twine here because I haven't had the wire. So I'm just making do with what I've got. And, whoop, well, I'm going to take you through. Uh, so I've pegged out another area here that will be another small garden in the middle here. So I've got to get some more materials to do the fencing. Uh, not too sure when I'm going to do that. Depends on the weather, how hot it is when I go out bush to get that stuff. But I've got some rock melon that it's doing really well. It's coming up and Mocha hasn't dug it up. <laughs> so there's a couple there and this is the Hale's Best variety and there's a few more up that way so I've yet to put the straw around these and then I've got the Queensland Blue Pumpkin and that's doing really well now got a few there a couple there and a few there and that's about it at the moment. Uh, so yeah, uh, the sugar cane's really growing well and doing good. All right, swing around. All right, so yeah, that's about it for at the moment and what's going on. I am working on another project at the moment for um, We've got, I'll give you a quick sort of look and see if you can kind of guess what's coming. So, we'll go down. Oh, yeah. So, we'll go down and have a look. So, swing around again. Alright, so I've been modifying the old rabbit cages and again, just using what I can at the moment until I can build a proper enclosure for these animals. Um, so, but it's still sturdy enough, they're not going to get out of there. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is join two together at this stage and sort of make a bit of a shelter part on one end. So I'll cut the end off this and I'll add it, add it over onto that one. So that's my project. So hopefully you should find out on Saturday's video what's going to be going in there. So there's a, another angle of the garden.
new garden there. So along the fence here, I'm going to plant some more stuff as well. Uh, not too sure exactly what yet. And then those two beds, I definitely got to put some radishes in. And and I also want to get uh, some more. I'm thinking about getting a row cover because of the, the heat and that. I want to grow some iceberg lettuce for some salads as well. And uh, yeah, that's about all that's going on at the moment. So God bless you guys. Get going, get growing.